係一班長者。It's just a fascinating way of working with numbers. It's it's of course completely new, but it's it's a whole it's a whole new way of doing it, and it appears to be fairly simple once you get onto it. I can say to Chinese people, "Do you know how to use an abacus?" And they say, "No." <laughs> it's a completely new way of thinking about numbers, so I find that challenging. Just curiosity. By my son gave me a, a small little abacus, and I didn't know how to use it, and I wanted to find out. Unlock the mind. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, when you get to a certain age, you get into a, a set pattern of thinking, and this will. Kind of tumble things over and let you see things from a different perspective. We've been told it's going to increase our memory, and that's something I think a senior should be thinking about. Ling Lao Ting Mok Ming. Is you want to change the course of these diseases? They all progress, but you don't want to be the fast progressor. You want to be the slow progressor. Okay. So the first thing we offer, we educate people to. Change their lifestyles. When you learn things, you create new connections, okay, called synapses, and that's learning new things helps form more synapses. And actually, what happens over time in a lot of these diseases is you lose synapses, so you want to replace some of them. And so that's what learning things do. Even if you're talking to somebody, it's very stimulating to the brain. You have to keep track of a conversation, so you're keep strengthening connections in the brain, structural changes to the brain that are difficult to measure, but you know you can see the effect. I personally don't think that there will be a big difference. I think it's basically the same. Perhaps with the seniors, it'll be a bit more fun. Because as an adult, you know their feedback or their comments can be funny, and that enhances their group work. If a senior really is functioning well mentally, but perhaps they have an illness where it's hard to use um, muscle control, it will help them with the muscle control because it's fine muscle uh, fine motor skills as well. So that's a, a positive. If a senior perhaps has started to um, Forget things a bit more. That might be a little bit of a problem, but right now I don't foresee any other major issues with the seniors. No. Started from there. So, were you fearful that you had memory loss, that you that you were losing your ability to remember? Uh, yeah, I yeah. was quite concerned. So, how has the program helped you, or or even changed you? Uh, as Annie uh, said, I felt that this abacus worked backwards to be 40 years an estimator, yeah. uh, worked numbers daily. Uh, I had a hard time getting used to the program, uh, but once you caught on, then it, was, it became very easy. Uh, I feel that what it is doing is it's uh, making me use some of the neutrons or whatever it is I've got up in the gray matter. <laughs> Uh, uh, and using new ones, that's all. Yeah, oh, it's like working so, out, right? Yep. It's like uh, a workout so. for your brain. That's correct. How often do you go? Uh, initially, I was going uh, once a week, right? Mm -hmm. And so Probably. is that what we're looking for, for people to go once a week? Do we want them as often as they need to? How does the program work? They actually work? have exercise to do also throughout the week. Oh, homework. So it's like homework. Oh. <laughs> That's probably your favorite part, right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so, Annie, you brought... You